All right, everyone. This will be a test of the uh, Simplex uh, 4903-9426. It says defective bad strobe, but how? However, I think it it was just a loose connection that was causing the problem in the strobe area. I took it apart and fixed it. So, yeah. So let's see if it works. Three, two, one. And we have a dud. Interesting. That's it. Actually, no. I think it does work. I think it's on smart sync mode because when I tap the wire, yeah, I got a smart sync strobe. Well, after taking the thing apart, um, do not try that, by the way. Um, that you may shock yourself. Uh, I found out what the problem was. The problem was, was the smart sync switch. I don't want to take it apart now, but there's a little switch right, like right here, I'm sure most True Alert owners know. Oh. So, here we go. Here's the strobe. The problem was before was that it was it thought it was in smart sync mode because the switch was broken. However, I took it apart and fixed the switch. So yeah. That's it. All right, now we're going to test the horn part. I do have one piece of tape on it. So, here we go. 3 2 1. Wow. That's it. Now that I finally got the strobe working again, now we're going to do the horn and the strobe part. So here we go. And that's it. And for the pole station part of the test, we are using my Simplex 2099-9756. The reason I'm using this is because True Alerts um, started becoming popular around, I don't know, early 2000s maybe? 2000, yeah, early 2000s. And more, more than likely, they would be installed with a 4010. So, the reason I'm using this pole is, more than likely, there would be a uh, dual-action pole on the system. Um, except it would be addressable. This is just a conventional one. So basically, I'm going by cosmetics here. So, without further ado, here we go. Push in and pull down. So yeah, that's it. This is this was like my most time consuming video ever. There's a lot of stuff behind the scenes you did not see. Anyways, that's it.